I told you there was one small thing we could add to our bikes that would have big results and some of them are virtually maintenance free. So today we're gonna get to the bottom of this little known upgrade, find out how hard it is to do, how much it costs, and if it's ultimately worth doing. Oh my God, I hope this is not hard. For the past seven years, this has been my go-to winter all-road bike. It's a 2016 Spiritualized Sith. It's got mechanical shifting, fenders that are Gorilla glued in place, which maxes out the tire size to 35 millimeter, and it's plastic, which means I can ride it guilt-free in the rain for days on end. Who am I kidding? Hours is the max. I don't want to do days. Which is why the cranks sound like this. That's the best version of it. The last time I took this into a bike shop, I actually got scolded for the bottom bracket. So this means it's time to change the bottom bracket, which I've never done before. And then I remembered a mechanic friend of mine saying that he upgraded the bearings in the hubs of his wheels, and he noticed a significant change on his bike. And I wondered if that would be true for me. So we're going balls deep and we're changing all the bearings. If they're ceramic, it's not dirty. So that's the plan, to swap the bearings in the bottom bracket and the wheels to let you know if this is an upgrade that's worth doing. And if so, is it a DIY project or take it to a pro mechanic? Good thing there's no instructions. And between you and me, I'm not a mechanic. I know just enough to be dangerous. Beyond that, I'm just completely worthless. Define bearing. Bearing means a person's way of standing or moving. A bearing is a small ring that helps a wheel spin. You know, like the Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, look at that flavor. That's my fault. For bearings, I went with Enduro. They're founded and based out of Oakland, California. They have cycling routes and their bearings are quote, fitted into millions of bikes each year. So that means we all run their bearings, even if we don't even know it. And it does take a bit of research to figure out what size bottom bracket and what size bearings your hubs need. Good luck with that. At this point, I'm wondering, how much is all this gonna cost? Let's start with the bottom bracket. Endura offers three tiers of bottom brackets. A $30 ABEC 3 middle row economy an $80 stainless steel option, business class, and a $230 ceramic hybrid ABEC 5. First class, sleeper thing, unlimited movies, and they serve the meal on ceramic plates, which comes with a lifetime warranty against wear and corrosion and claims to get better and smoother with age. So for a bike that's used to physical abuse and emotional neglect, I hoped to buy back its love by using the fancy first class XD15, baby. A lifetime warranty and it gets better with age? I say invest. And if you're looking to do this at home, you're gonna need a special bottom bracket remover installer press kit tool. And that's gonna cost you an additional $210. I wonder if this is gonna be worth it. I don't know if I should be flattered because there's no instructions and they think I know how to use this or insulted because there's no instructions and I don't know how to use this. Start by taking the 30 millimeter collet and inserting it into the bearing. Then take the expander rod. That was astonishingly easy. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Bottom bracket, check. Now the wheels, on the other hand, they might be a little trickier. You ever been on a ride and had some knucklehead in a car almost take you out? You ever wonder what you would actually do if you got injured or worse? Like who do you call, what do you do? Lo and behold, our plea for cycling advocacy have been answered by a passionate, dedicated group of cyclists known simply as Bicycle, Bicycle Law. Law. They provide legal resources to individual cyclists and cycling clubs, even if they don't stand to make much money because they value helping cyclists, which they see as helping the community and helping the planet. They're thinking big picture. So the lawyers figured it out. I would have thought the beekeepers. So the move is to put their number in your phone, 866-VELO-LAW. 
and you can just screen grab this. And hopefully, you'll never have to use it. But if you do, there's no risk. They're not gonna charge you to see if they can help out or not. No funny business. I'll also put their link below. And shout out Bicycle Law for looking out for us. They're like our litigious guardian angels. Can we legally say that? Definitely never taken a hub apart. There's a lot of parts. If you've never gone in there, you'd never know. And then, because my hubs are DT Swiss, I realized I needed a special tool that cost 150 extra dollars to pull the bearings out of these hubs. Now all I get to do is figure out how to use it. Oh, come on! <sighs> Great, I'm stuck again. Okay, okay. More tools. I am stubbornly determined to make this work. Yes. All right, fingers crossed. It fits! Now I forget what I'm supposed to do. Then take the expander rod. Turn the bus left. Oh, what? Come on. What the f Come on! I need a pipe. Okay, let's see if we Woo! Ugh. Woo! Where'd it go? Got it! The funniest thing is this feels fine. I'm still gonna replace it, but this one's not that chunky. Which I guess is a good thing. Start by taking the 30 millimeter collet and inserting it into the bin. It worked. Now I don't know if I'm supposed to somehow remove this little pin inside here. Dustin, how long have you been a professional mechanic? Pretty much 20 years. In the grand scheme of mechanical tasks, what would be the most complex of them all? That would be bearings. You gotta have so many different tools to do it properly. There's like a weird pin inside this driver body. How do I get that out? You're gonna need to go get some circlip pliers from your favorite local hardware store. Oh, awesome. So like a field trip. Yeah. So we need some plim plan pliers? Let's go get some plim plan pliers. All right, the right tool for the job. Yes! Ha! It worked! Now what? Front wheel. Wish me luck. Yes! I'm probably doing this wrong. How do I hold it? Ah! We are officially Bearingless. We got a grinder. Keeping everything a little clean. You know what I just realized? This wheel set uses three different bearing sizes. The only way I would know that is by taking them all out, seeing them, and then measuring them. Yikes. So let that be a bit of wisdom for you. If you're going to do this, you might not know what size bearings you need until after you've taken them out. Which means your bike will be out of commission this whole time, which can be days or weeks, depending on which tools you have and what things you need to order. Whew. So why are these XD15 bearings so special? Apparently it's the combination of a ceramic bearing with their scientifically blended race, which is some kind of special stainless steel. I read the whole report on it and I didn't understand any of it. So that's how you know it's real science. Okay, now how do I put these in? Okay, first wheel, done. Next is the infinitely more difficult installation of bearings on the rear wheel. I've watched like seven different tutorials on how to do this. Each one says a different thing. I feel like I'm moderately stabbing around in the dark with a general idea of which direction to go. 
It's definitely that way. There's a good chance I have the wrong tool for the job too. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, we're in there. Beautiful day for mechanical work. How are we looking out there? Do I put the axle in now? Okay. It's about as satisfying as it looks. Oh. Both bearings in the driver body, almost there. And I realized I forgot the spanner ring. One step forward, two steps back. I did it. Almost there, all right. Home stretch. Ah. Ah. It's working! It's working! Almost. Holy cow. I can't believe I did it. Let's take this thing for a spin. What the hell no? Okay, is changing your bearings something you actually need to do? If you put in big miles and or ride in all weather, this might just be something you have to do. And because this is such a tool and knowledge heavy ordeal, I highly suggest bringing this to a mechanic. I would have saved money and time by bringing this to a mechanic. Sometimes you just gotta call the pros. And if I was suggesting this to a friend, I might actually push them towards getting the higher end bearings. Because this is such a big ordeal, you might as well only do it once and do it with something that has a lifetime warranty and claims to get better with age. Is that true? And cause I'm curious, remind me in six months. What do you want to be reminded about? Ceramic bearing update video. Okay, I added it. There better not be anything to update. This was hard. I hope I never have to do it again because if I do, I'm almost guaranteed to have forgotten all the things I just learned during this project. And before you get new bearings for your rig, you might wanna consider what new wheels will do. And to understand that, you'll have to watch this video. I go over the ins and outs of this transformational transformation. Yeah, the results may surprise you. These results surprised me. Look at that caramel-coated greatness. <laughs>